Hey everybody, Dirilly here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dandelion, which is brought to you by the company Cherits. We are beginning our relationship with Gion, the orange kitty. And this will be our last guy in the series. If you want to check out the other guys, please take a look at my Dandelion playlist and you'll see them in the numbered list. Um, but yeah, he's the last one and then we'll have a little bit of stuff to look at at the end, uh, you know, having completed all the guys. But uh, let's go ahead and begin on his route. I encountered the orange cat and I'm going to stare at his little nose, which he liked. You're such a cute cat. I was taking a bubble bath when I spotted the orange rabbit. I think they mean cat. The orange cat sat on the edge of the bathtub and looked at me. I'm in the middle of taking a bath. Wait for me a while, okay? Fortunately, usually he's pretty easy to catch in the bathroom. Now we'll smile. Smiling at Gion made my heart warm. I'm patting the little orange cat. He's showing some response. How cute! I was taking a bubble bath when I spotted the orange cat. The orange cat was running in the bathroom when he slipped. Are you okay? And now we can start taking him on pet dates, even though I don't need to build points with him, we still want to see the scenario, so let's take him to the beach to start off with. Jo shall we go for a walk on the beach? Huh? Something's tickling my forearm. Oh, Gian is sticking his head out from the bag and rubbing his face on my arm. That means he's claiming you. Gian is looking at a family sitting next to me. Hmm... Call Gian. Gian turned to look at me and ran towards me. And he climbed onto my lap. You're such a charming little cat. Gion and I played by marking our foot footprints in the sand, and we soon became tired. I feel a little guilty for playing out all day, but spending time like this once in a while won't hurt. And now let's take him to... Whoops, not you. No, no. Go back. Ugh, I have to load. Okay, now let's take Orange Kitty to the park. Should I go for a walk in the park? I called Gion and he ran towards me. Let's go for a walk. There are white and yellow butterflies flying in the air. Gion poked his head out from the bag and stared at the butterflies with fascination. Gion is rolling in the grass. Hmm, let me entertain him with a foxtail. Gion carefully eyes the foxtail and jumped for the kill. Here, this way! Gion hopped around, determined to catch the foxtail. Now, look around. Juon kept making me laugh. It soon become dark, so I headed home. I had such a fun day with Juon today. I should give Juon a bath at home. And now let's take him to... Did we... No, yeah, that's right. No art gallery. The university. It's the last place left to be able to take, take him as a pet. Maybe I should go to the art club room to draw some pictures. I'll take Gion with me. Gion stuck his head out from the bag. He looked so cute that I laughed. Gion gave me his signature adorable look. Mm, let me pat him. When I pet him, he closes his eyes as if he was pleased. He's just too adorable. Let's look around. Oh, that's a waste. I painted for a long time, and it began to look as if it was going to get dark soon. I hurried back home with Gion. Did I draw too much? My right arm is aching a bit. Taking a shower with warm water at home sounds like a good idea. Well, now we can increase our relationship with him. We have a lot of points to go. Alright, so let's take him to... We'll take him to the beach again. Just recycle. Not the same event. Let's hug him this time. Whoops, darn it. I encountered him again, and we can give him an orange. Right in the mouth. I didn't know cats liked oranges. Gion came in the bathroom while I was taking a bubble bath. Gion knocked over a shampoo bottle. Thank God it didn't land on you. Be careful. And this time I'll stare at him again. His cute little nose. Just looking at your cute face makes my day. Gion is popping bubbles with his paw. It is just so adorable. Now we'll smile at him. Gion looks like an angel when he smiles. Oops. Gion gave me something. 
He bought me five dollars. <laughs> it's a bit weird that a cat bought money, but I'll take it anyway. Now let's take him to the park. I want to hear the birds chirping today. Jion, do you want to go to the park with me? Jion stuck his head out from the picnic basket. He seemed to be checking out every girl who was passing by. No, it must be my imagination. Jion discovered a wounded sparrow. Eek! Could he be thinking about... Um... Jion, no, you're not going to bother the sparrow, are you? Jion looked at me and grinned. And he took the sparrow into his mouth and ran away! Ugh, Jion, no! Aw, oh, man. Don't hurt the bird. Jion rolled on the grass and got himself dirty. I should wash him when I get home. It feels like it's been a long time since I bathed under the sunlight. Humans need some sun, too. Maybe I should give Jion a bath when I get home. I think we got... Alright. Well, I think we got points with him, so we just need one more date, I believe. We'll go to the university again. I suddenly had the urge to paint some pictures. Should I go to the club room and paint on canvas there? Jion, would you like to come with me? I wonder why I want to paint so much today. As I walked quickly, Jion gave me an amused look. Jion walked around the tubes of paint. Hmm. Jion up and... Let's throw him a toy. He looks bored. He seems like more like the action type of cat. I threw a toy at him, and Jion began to play with it excitedly. He looks cute. I should buy more toys for the cats. Oh, they're not giving me anything decent. Time flew by before I knew it. I hurried back home be with Jion. I always lose track of time whenever I'm drawing. I should go home and take a rest now. Aha, I can finally raise our points with him again. Let's... Let's stare at him. Hopefully he'll like it. You're such a charming little thing. Oh, Jion jumped onto the bubbles. Are you okay, Jion? Phew, Jion is happily meowing. And we still need to build points with him again, so let's take him to the park. The fine weather makes me want to enjoy the nature. I should go to the park for a walk with Jion. As if he knew that we were going to the park, Jion gently wagged his tail side to side. Wagged his tail? I thought only dogs could do that. Did Jion just eat grass? Hmm. Let's just watch him. He seemed to chew on grass, but then just rolled on the floor. You were just playing, weren't you? You're just too adorable. Jion and I enjoyed the warm sunlight. I'm glad we made this small memory together. It always makes me feel better to be with Jion, who's always wearing a smile. I'll give you a bath when we get home, Jion. And, oh, we can hug him now. Woo. The way he jumps on my lap is so cute. I was taking a bubble bath when I spotted Jion. Jion is meowing next to the tub. Do you want to come in too? That's not a good idea, actually. Although he's probably seen her naked plenty. <laughs> Since he's always in the bathroom and she's always taking baths. Is that why he hangs out in the bathroom so much? Jion, what did you bring? Oh wow, this magazine is famous. Oh, cherries. <laughs> Cherry boy. Jion bought you the gossip magazine. Did you even know what this was? Let's smile at him. Wow, I didn't know what to do because you're so cute. Gian is pacing around the refrigerator. Gian is jumping, trying to get a hold of my apron. Just wait a little, okay? I'll finish it quickly and play with you. Let's give him a little pet. Good boy, you're such a charming little cat. Gian is pacing around the refrigerator. Gian tore a page from the cookbook and bought it to me. This is the recipe on orange jam. Quite a coincidence, since he likes oranges so much, huh? Oh, my pressure's up, but I need one more point with him, so let's take him out on a date anyway, and hope that our pressure won't be too bad. University. There was one picture that I didn't get to finish during the week. I should go to the club room to finish it. Jion, do you want to tag along? The school is really empty since it's on a vacation. Those who come to the club room during the week are me, EJ, and a couple more people. I'm the only one who comes during the weekends, though. A rustling noise came from under the desk. 
Jion? Jion came out from under the desk. Oh, he was playing with the newspapers. I'll forgive you because you're cute, but you really surprised me. Oh, I hate it when I look around and there's nothing. Since Jion looked tired, I came out of the club room earlier than usual. Jion continued to sleep in my bag as we headed home. Are you feeling all right? I should hurry home and let him take a rest. He bought something shiny. What's that? A hairpin? Ooh, Jion bought the expensive hairpin. You're a little sneak thief out there somewhere, aren't you? It looks pretty expensive. It looks like a designer brand. Well, September 1st. Meow. John is acting particularly strange today. He's been crying since this morning. I gave him some food thinking that he was hungry, but it didn't help at all. Meow. I examined him carefully, but he didn't seem to have a particular problem. His eyes are sparkling as usual. Maybe he's hungry. And he cries even louder whenever I try to go anywhere. What is the matter with you? I can't concentrate on my studies or anything because of his crying. He kept crying looking into my eyes. Uh, maybe... Can this be... that? The thing that I read on the books about cats a few days ago? The cycle that comes to them after they're a year old. <laughs> you need to get him neutered? <laughs> I picked Jion up with trembling hands. Let's go to the hospital. Oh, it's lunchtime. A sign above the counter says lunch until 1300. It's 1240. I'll wait for a few minutes. I sat on the bench and put Jion on my lap. Don't worry, the vet will take care of you soon. I've never had a pet before, so I have no idea what I should do when something like this happens. I did read in some books about animals after I decided to keep them, but what's in theory and in practice are different. I'm going to have to ask the vet a lot of questions today. Jion gently curled up on my lap. I stroked Jion's back. Are you tired or something? He can't help but just cry because he can't speak. You poor thing. I hope the doctor will find out what's wrong with him. Maybe he shouldn't be eating oranges, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he is in heat. I lifted my head up and looked out the window. It's September. Fall has already arrived. When Jion becomes alright, I'll take him to the park before it gets too cold. Unlike the other cats... There's only one other cat. Unlike the other cat, Jion enjoys wa taking a walk outside. Wait just a little more. You'll feel better soon. I wish you could speak. Then I would be able to know whether you're sick or want to go somewhere and all that. But that's impossible, of course. Okay. Huh? What was that just now? I looked down at where the voice came from. What? Uh. Oh my gosh! Who are you? A strange guy was laying on the bench with his head on my lap. She didn't notice the change in weight. Bright orange hair, pointy cat ears, and round large eyes. Huh? Wow! I came back to my normal self. What? what What's going on? Who is he? And where is Jion? And the cat ears on his head, they're, they're moving. Am I dreaming? Hey, I can speak now. Are, are you talking to me? I pinched my cheek. Ow! It hurts. It, it's not a dream. N no way. It can't be. Jion? Yeah, why? The guy looked straight at me and answered. Are you Jion the, the cat? Yeah. Oh, right. I heard this isn't common in this world. This? Animals changing into humans. It, it's not... Just uncommon, it's impossible. This can never happen in reality. An animal changing into a person? All the animals in your house can change themselves into humans or animals. No way. This is a dream. Hmm, so you believe it? It's very normal for us. His cat ears were twitching as he was speaking. How can there be cat ears on his head? Did you say all the animals at home can change themselves into humans like you? Faces of Jisoo, Jihei, Jiwoo, and Jiyun flashed through my head. Come to think of it, all of them were in the basket from the very beginning. The five animals that someone left in my room. I thought it was strange, but... Yeah, we all had to stay as animals until now because that was the rule of the game. Game? 
What game? Yeah, game. I can't tell you in detail, though. Game. Rules? He keeps talking about something that I don't understand. It's like a dream. Yes, it must be a dream. I can't understand anything that this guy who claims that he's Jion is saying. No, before that. Uh, are you guys even from Earth? It sounds like a stupid question, but it's a basic problem. Apparently he's speaking in Korean, but he does not look Korean at all. And his ears. I can't tell you that because it's a breach of contract. Sorry. It's so absurd to see him speak in Korean when he looks so... exotic. And what does he mean by a contract? How can you speak Korean? It's the power of love. <sighs> Sorry, I was just joking. Would you believe if I say it's the power of magic? No, I can't believe it. But I'm clearly seeing him with my own two eyes. Now that I think about it, it's a bit scary. I thought they were just my pets, but they were actual humans? Who on earth left them in my room? Then there is really such a thing as magic? No, no way. Hello. Err. Uh, I began to have flashbacks of what I did in front of the animals. Going around the house in my pajamas, going into my room naked after taking a shower. As all the memories of my embarrassing moments came back to me, I wanted to hide somewhere. Hello. Jion suddenly came right up to me and linked his arm with mine. What? What are you so deep in thought for? Uh, I almost lost my balance as he pulled me up. Let's go home, shall we? Right. There's no reason to stay at the veterinary clinic anymore. It's still unbelievable. But an animal just changed into a human. Let's go back to our house where plenty of food is waiting for us. Before I knew it, I was led by Jion who had on a bright smile. He He's crossing his arm with mine. Hey, Hee-jong! So, you know my name? Of course, I'm your cat. Um... I still wasn't fully convinced, but the guy knows my name. Do I really have to believe that he's Jion? Jion is extremely cheerful, just as he was when as a cat. Who is that man? Is that a cosplay? Or is he just a foreigner? Wow, they look like real ears. Uh-oh, maybe we shouldn't be going around with his ears revealed. No one here seems to have animal ears. Yeah. He said here. Does that mean he's not from Earth? There is no place in this world where an animal turns into a human. Too bad. You look much cuter with animal ears. I don't think it's the problem of looking cute. <sighs> there were many fun incidents since I started to raise the animals, but... But I had no idea that things would become like this. Why are you sighing? Huh? Why are you sighing? What? Oh, signing, sorry. <laughs> why am I signing? Maybe his Korean is still poor. You mean, why am I sighing? Oh, right. Why are you sighing? Ah, he must have poor speaking skills. Maybe the magic is limited? I think I'm a bit traumatized. I'm thinking of what to do from now on. Have no bear. I'll protect you. Have no bear. It's definitely a familiar expression, but his choice of words is a bit off. You mean have no fear, right? Yeah, right, right. You're a little unskilled with words. Yeah, but sometimes I make mistakes on purpose to look cute. I almost trip at those words. Make mistakes on purpose to look cute? What's that supposed to mean? Why do you cry all day long? I'm already having a normal conversation with this strange cat. It's definitely an unbelievable situation, but his cat ears are alive and moving in front of me, and his personality reminds me strongly of Jion. Somehow I feel a bit comfortable around him. Is it because we've lived together? Can he really be Jion? Well, I was feeling a bit funny all day today. I think the magic was getting weak. Magic? Does magic really exist? The word I never thought existed in reality continues to revolve in my mind now. Were you worried because you thought I was sick? Y yes Wow, did you really think I had a cold or something? Did you think I had a cold or something? Huh? Th that's... that is... How am I supposed to tell him that I thought he was in heat? Hello? As I avoided the question, we arrived home. I heard the unfamiliar voices coming from the house. She did think it was in heat. 
<laughs> you were about to get neutered, buddy. Well, what's this? What are these sounds? I hurriedly opened the front door and could not believe what I saw. This can't be happening. Okay, this will be all the same stuff from here. Except for this line. John looked at me and laughed as if the whole situation was amusing. Eddie. And now it should be the same again. I encountered Gion. You gotta stop spending so much time in the bathroom now, buddy. Let's see. Let's give him a dandelion. Wow, is this for me? You're the best. Thank you. Hey, John, are you going to take a bath? Let's take it together. I love taking baths. Jisoo says he doesn't understand me, though. I don't want to be a scumbag like Jisoo. I encountered him again. Let's give him a stare at the chest, maybe? He liked it a little. Ijong, you look pretty today. Ijong, what are you making? I'm going to watch you cook. Don't worry, I'm not picky about food as long as there are oranges. By the way, did you buy some more oranges? Okay, so at this stage in the game, he's only available for dates on Saturdays. Let's go to the beach. No, wait. Maybe I'll be able to buy a bikini before that, so let's go to the park first. You want to go to the park? Got it! Wow, the weather is nice today. This is a perfect day for a cat to take a nap. Hey, John, look! It's a fountain! Uh... It looks nice and cool. Yeah! It's as if the weather is falling from the sky. It sounds nice, too. Hey, John, weren't you bored when I took a nap earlier? Hey, Jung, did you have fun today? Let's go out together again, okay? And now let's talk to him. Hey, Jung, let's eat an orange together, okay? Hey, Jung, are you going to take a bath? Let's take it together. I smell something good. I smell oranges. You smell good. Did I just let him stay in here when I took a bath? It's like, well, he already saw everything as a cat, so... Now we'll let's see if he'll like, uh... I think he likes the infomercial catalog. Oh, only a little bit. Anything you give me is a treasure. Thank you so much, Hee Jung. Now we'll take him to the art gallery. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think you'd be a good guy. Guy? What? Oh, it's Guide. <laughs> this building is really pretty. I want to hurry and go in. Huh? Hee Jung, look at this. Um, do you like this drawing? Yeah, I think I can understand the meaning of life when I look at it. Nah, how would a child like me possibly know about life? <laughs> Today I saw all the pictures to my heart's content. I'm suddenly getting really hungry. Hurry and feed me, please. Oh, hey Jung, it's a present for you. Jiang gave you the collagen cream, cool. Girls like this stuff, right? A girl that I know told me. It's probably expensive. I can probably use it to raise my beauty. Let's see. Yep. Beauty slightly increased, stress slightly decreased. That's cool. And we still can't do anything new, it's just stare talk and presence. Let's see if he likes a fork. <laughs> Not really. I'm gonna redo that. Come on, we need to build up your points faster, buddy. Let's see if he likes... I already gave him a dandelion. Let's give him a leaf. No, you're so picky! You little cat, you. Alright, let's just stare at him then. Let's see if he likes being stared in the eye. A little bit. Huh? What? Hey, Jung, what's that? Are you drawing? Hey, Jung! Are people an artist because they're poor, or are they poor because they're an artist? But you're not poor at all. Let's talk to him again. Hee Jung, stop studying and play with me. Hee Jung, what are you making? I'm going to watch you cook. Wow, it looks so good. Can I just have a bite? Oh my god, I just realized I've been like playing forever, and I <laughs> haven't stopped. Okay, we're going to end this video here. <laughs> We'll continue on in the next one. I would have just been playing all night. <laughs> I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.